Hello, welcome back. In our last couple of videos, we discuss about different normalization forms and then different tricks that we learned to create a data model. So in this video, we are going to take a look at our eStore application for which we are essentially building that data model. Okay, so so what are different? So basically, the first thing to build on data model, we need to figure out what are the different entities, what are different actors are present in our system, and in this case, maybe the first thing is that we we can think about call something called category. Like you know, you remember that we discuss about different kinds of hardware, software, DVDs, books. So that is essentially a category. Okay, so that is our first entity, and in category, I will have a name of the category. So what is the name of the category, and then when this category was created, and then if any modified, then I just store the modified date. When the category was ever modified, okay, and then two, in order to uniquely identify a category, I will add a primary key, and that is called a category underscore ID, okay, and then the next thing that we can build is something called product, okay. So next entity is product, and let's try to figure out what are the kinds of what are the kind of attributes that we are going to st going to store in this product entity. Maybe the name of the product, like a Toshiba. 140 laptop or a Sony Vio model, okay. So that is the name of the product. And then basically, what how much quantity we have in our store right now, okay? And what you know how much quantity we have in our store. And then what is the price of the product? Then if there is any discount that's going on right now for the product, then store the discount percent, okay? So discount underscore percent, okay? And then another thing is that this product will belong to a category. So therefore, we also going to have a key from category ID is going to come here, and then let's say we we store also cat underscore ID. So this cat cat underscore ID is is a part of the category is referred from this category ID ID field of the category table, and then to identify everything, we we put a primary key for the product table, and let's say that key is called prod underscore ID. Okay, so now. This is a way that we are going to have our product table. And next is that this product might be supplied by a supplier, by a vendor. And let's say that entity is called supplier. Okay, so the supplier entity is going to supply a product for you. And then again, the supplier name and then supplier's address, so where the supplier is located at, a telephone number, fax number, and so on. And then when the supplier was joined in this e-store uh, app. Okay, so join that and anything else that okay, so and then to identify the supplier uniquely, we'll put a, a primary key called sub underscore id. And again, this product might be might be belong to a supplier. A supplier might be giving this product, so therefore we'll have a sub underscore id. So what we are saying here is that one supplier can have multiple products. Therefore, one to many relationship. And then here for that one to many relationship, the primary key is the supplier id. And then supplier ID here is the foreign key. Similarly, there is a relationship exists between the category and product. That means one category might have multiple products. So therefore, we have another relationship between these two table, which is one to many. One category might have multiple product, and we have already category ID is in the place here, which is referring to this category ID in this category table. Okay, so we have category, product, supplier. Then let's think about who the other actors. The most important actors here is a customer who is basically coming to your website, buying from our uh, e-store application. Let's say that entity name is called customer. Again, customer. What kind of attributes we have? We have we have a first name. We have something called last name. And what is the email ID of the customer? And what is the address of the customer so that we can send the product to that shipping address? Right, and then like you know that that will consist of the zip code, telephone number, and all this thing. What is the password that customer is going to use so that he can log into our system? Okay, so these are all the information we store in the customer entity, customer table, and then this is identified by a key called cost underscore id. Cost underscore id is again the primary key, and then is uniquely identify a customer, and then that customer. Might buy something, right? So he'll order something from our system, okay? And let's say that table is called 
order table okay again the order table will have a customer id so because as a one to many relationship one customer can put multiple orders so therefore we have a cost id and this cost id is coming from this table which is a primary key here and this is the foreign key here okay so customer id okay and then this customer id customer can have multiple like you know, the customer is going to pay by credit card or what kind of what kind of payment method that this customer is going to use to full, to to pay the order so that is we call payment underscore i payment type and if it is a credit card then we should store about credit card number expiry date and so on okay and then one more important thing is that order status like if the status is already fulfilled or this is to be done and so on and one more thing is that one order can have multiple items like you know you don't really just order only one uh, product right you may, you may order multiple products right so therefore what we have we have another table which is called order underscore item okay so in order underscore item table what are going to have we are going to have a one to many relationship between the order table and order item table in order item table in one order have multiple items so therefore we are going to have an order id here and then we have another thing called line item id okay so line item id so line item is essentially like you know say for example one order order id let's say one we'll have one it line item id one let's say we are buying a product that is called monitor same order line item number two we are buying a product called discs same order line item number three is called let's say buying a book okay so that means this is your order id and this is your line item id but see like you know, if i combine them together this combination is unique okay so we have one 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 two and one three all of them the combination is unique essentially what we have here in our item table this is called a, this both these two columns are con, both to both to both both of these two columns consist primary key this is also called as composite primary key okay and then what are we going to have? We're going to have unit price. Like you know, how much this monitor cost? And this unit price is different from the product price, whatever is we have here. Because we might have some kind of loyalty program for a customer so that we can give some discount to a customer. So therefore, we go, we're going to store unit price. This unit price may be same, may be different than whatever we have in the product table. And also, what is the product that we are buying? So that product ID and then we have a relationship again between this product table and order item tables that is a one to many relationship okay so this is how we are going to model our we are going to think about our entities and then using the tool and using the techniques that i uh, told you in the last video we are going to use sql modeler to come up with this kind of a diagram and i have already done the diagram for you and that that diagram is going to look like this what I'm going to do, I'm going to store this diagram in the website so that you can basically take a look what is this diagram, you know, how this diagram is, and then you can create a diagram of your own using the data modeler tool. And second thing, I've also given you a document, and this document is called table description doc document of eStore application. So whatever I think is the is the is the attribute and why i am storing this attribute that is more important you now why we need this column what kind of things we are going to store here i mentioned those things so these two documents will be available on the website take a look at this thing and then maybe i am missing something which you can create in your data model and then you create a based on this data model in the consequent chapters we are going to create a script and going to run the script and then basically from now onwards, we are going to use this data model, use this schema, use this thing to learn more about SQL. Thank you.